but it's another thing to have the water. You know, Lake Mendocino is going to be before this fall. It's not that anybody doesn't have the water right. Ukiah could say, okay, Redwood Valley, we'll give you some of our water right. But the water isn't there in the lake to give. It's going to be down below the, the pumping point. So there's a big difference okay. between water right and actual, what some people call paper water, and actual water. And the problem we have in this county is actual water. If you add up the water rights available we have, it's a lot more than we have actual water. We've got to come up with some stuff that will get your hand wet. It's called real water. Thank you, Supervisor Pinches. Um, Mr. White, you want to respond to that? And then I have an announcement to make. I would just like to address that last comment. Our, our 6,000 acre foot water right is a water right for water that actually exists. The yield and firmness of that water will only increase with the biological opinion that's coming out this week. I have the draft in my office right now. That's going to actually increase reliability of lake by mandating lower releases from Lake Mendocino. So that water is there. That isn't paper water. That's not fictitious water. That's there. In a drought year, all water rights are subject to reductions in availability. And right now we're working on the driest March in recorded history. So I don't really think that's what we want to plan on. That's an exception. During a normal year, there's real water there. And this is not some sort of policy. This isn't some sort of paper chase. It's an actual real project. That water can be diverted straight from the reservoir using Redwood Valley's existing infrastructure and distribution system. And all they have to do is get permission to do it. And it's something they've been asking us to do for 30 years. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I need to interrupt this discussion briefly to announce, because there, there appears to be a number of people in the public wishing to uh, listen in or speak to item 7B. Uh, no, I'm sorry. She's kept reading my own writing here. Uh, 7C, uh, presentation of the GASB 45 report. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the presenter uh, consultant is unavailable today, and this item will have to be continued to an item uh, date to be determined. So trying to interrupt here uh, has been somewhat difficult on speaking to this item. So I do apologize. That will be taken up at a future meeting to be determined. So those folks that are here for that, I do apologize. Okay, so back to this item. Um, in regards to the water agency and the uh, uh, prioritization of the feasibility investigations. Any other members of the public wishing to speak to this? Please step forward uh, to the podium, state your name for the record, and try and keep your comments to three minutes. Okay, my name is Bill Neath, and I'm uh, the one that has the plot in uh, Redwood Valley. But I'm glad to hear someone's got water for 47.50. I want to buy some of that <laughs> because we pay the county, or I don't know who we pay. We pay 180 or 85 dollars an acre foot for irrigation water, and when they don't have it, when it's on a moratorium and you can't do it, why we still pay them for six years, 600 and well, whatever it comes to, and we've been on the moratorium for quite a while this year, I think, already. But, no, my, my project is uh, right on the river, and it's cheaper to build than anticipated here. They spent a lot of money, uh, the you fellows did, it's getting it okayed. But, uh, you know, I, I don't want to kill anything or say anything against you guys but either, but, uh, or against Roland either, but, you know, they, uh, you people can go to a, a granite out here and they'll dig their six or seven holes like the people he paid to do it at my place and cover them back up again and they'll be out of there in six hours. And I don't know how much it's cost me so far or cost you guys so far in, in planning and all that. But, uh, and another thing, uh, that dam is, uh, that pond of mine is way overpriced. It's up to $12 million, I think. I tell you, there'd be a lot of people be tickled to death to build it for half that. I know that. And uh, you guys spent, I don't know how much on studies already. 
it's just, it's just outrageous. I would like to build that dam for half that if my wife would let me do it, but she, she tells me I'm too old. I'll get up there and kill myself, but <laughs> that's the truth. But anyway, uh, my price was, uh, I forget, two, 225 for four or five years, and then three years, I think, and then two and a quarter for four years more. And then in uh, 20, 25 years, I'd be willing to give it to you. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I'll put that in writing, but uh, it's up to my family. I, I'm not going to live that long, but I, I, I'm doing it for my two boys, two kids, a girl and a boy, and my grandkids. And so far, I've only got three, I think, three grandkids. And uh, at some time, why they, and if they sell it to you, they can sell it. To, if we put that in there too, if uh, if maybe they don't want it that way, I didn't talk to them about that, but uh, it could be sold for half its value, you know, whenever the last one wants to sell it, or whatever they. But we can put a deadline down too, you know, because I know my kids are both in their fifties and they're not all going to live forever. But that's what it's all about. It's for my grandkids that because the uh, inflation is bad and it costs a lot to live anymore with college and all that going up, you know. Uh, 